हाई गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल जिसका नाम है इन शॉर्ट मेरे टाइम एंड द टॉपिक ऑफ द वीडियो फॉर टूडे इज गोइंग टू बी तोलानी मेरा टाइम इंस्टीट्यूट एडमिशन गाइड टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव आई एम हितेश आई एम अ मरीन इंजीनियर एंड आई एम अ पास आउट फ्रॉम तोलानी मेरा टाइम इंस्टीट्यूट सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ यू कैन टेक एडमिशन इन दिस कॉलेज सो गाइज लेट स्टार्ट सो द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट यू शुड नो इज द ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट ऑफ दिस कॉलेज राइट विच इज टी एम आई डॉट तोलानी डॉट ई डी यू सो इवन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फिल द एडमिशन फॉर्म यू हैव टू गो एंड विजिट दिस वेबसाइट आपको इसी वेबसाइट पर जाना है तोलानी मेरे टाइम इंस्टीट्यूट की ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट टी एम आई डॉट तोलानी डॉट ई डी यू सो एज एंड वेन आई ओपन दिस वेबसाइट द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट आई कैन सी इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी is admissions 2025 and for the students who want to take admission in this college i mean this is the most important thing for you so i can read that admission forms are open for btech marine engineering and bsc nautical science which is commencing in august 2025 right so btech and bsc ke forms have already opened to agar aapko apply karna hai to main aapko bata dun ki aapke liye ye forms open hai at the same time what i have noticed is that tmi have launched their own artificial intelligent uh, guide or robot or bot whatever you want to say her name is nia so nia is going to help you with pretty much everything that you need and it's i think it's really cool i think it's very interesting to um apply in this format because i can see all of the necessary information i can get from this a uh, bot you can also find it when you will visit this website you will see that you have this particular icon of nia who is the admission assistant okay so without further ado just to let you know abhi btech marine engineering and bsc nautical science ke forms open hain but at the same time there are other courses also offered by this college like diploma in nautical science which is dns that's a course for one year then lateral entry btech marine engineering so it's three years because lateral entry happens in the second year of btech marine engineering so if you are a student who is going to apply for lateral entry of course you will take admission in the second year of college so that's why you just have to study three years of Engineering, and there's another course which is a four months course. It is ETO Electro Technical Officers for all of the electrical engineers who want to make a switch to Merchant Navy, and they want to join. Uh, uh, they want to pursue this course of Electro Technical Officers. They can of course go to Tolani Maritime Institute, right? So now, um, if I open this particular link, which says admission forms open for BTech Marine Engineering and BSc Nautical Science commencing August two thousand and twenty-five, below that is an icon which says apply now. So as soon as you will um, click on this icon, there are certain instructions that you would get. So for registration, you have to put your name, email address, and mobile number, your state, city, whatever course you are applying for. Now, guys, this is really important because. you have to choose the correct course right because this one form that you are filling is for one course okay so we have to choose the correct course right keep your first preference as your entry in this particular form do not forget that okay so there are a few instructions which are given now the process to fill this application form is really simple first of all you have to register yourself i just told you the important uh, information that you have to fill in for this form and then you will verify your email of course when you will enter the email you will get an otp or any kind of code or a link basically for verification that it's your email then you have to fill in the application form you have to give in all your credentials it's a very interesting admission form you have to write your hobbies whatever achievements you have had your academic achievements pretty much everything around it so you have to just enter all of the information now if you have any doubt or anything how you are supposed to fill the application form you can message me you can see my channel on in short maritime it's on instagram so you can follow me on in short maritime you will find it on instagram it's an instagram handle so just message me over there it's going to be me who will reply to all of you okay so yeah you can just take a screenshot of wherever you get stuck or any information that you need and you can message me on in short maritime on instagram and i will be happy to help you then you are supposed to pay the application fees which should be somewhere around 1000 1500 rupees maybe 2000 but like it's not a lot for the college that you are applying for it's a really good college so then of course then you will submit your application so as soon as you submit your application this is the terminal where you will come directly in contact with the college theek hai ab aap college ke direct contact mein ho now the college will communicate with you through your registered email id or your phone number right so now you are in direct touch with the college now there are certain things that you need to realize okay that this is the only application form for tmi do not get scammed this is the only official website this is the only form if you want to get in the college application form fees is not refundable 
of course it's not going to be ref uh, refundable and uh, your email id cannot change guys so when you register when you fill in the form please be very sure of your email id it should be you know some some email id that you can access anytime you want to and it should be just your regular email id okay one very important thing that i want to share with all of you for merchant navy and especially to get into a great college like tulani maritime institute passport is mandatory so passport is really really important so if you do not have a passport right now please apply as soon as possible okay please apply as soon as possible and get your passport okay so that is going to be that and you can also find their official contact details okay on the website so if i open the website and i navigate through the website so when i click on the bot of nia i can find a heading which says contact details and then i will get all of their phone numbers i will get their email id i will get their address tolani maritime institute ka official number official address official email id so that's how you can find direct contact of how you are supposed to contact with the college and please this is the only official contact that i am going to promote everything that you need for this college should only be obtained from this website okay because this is the official website everything else is pretty much you know there is a chance that it could be a scam okay so yes now coming to the next point um what is marine engineering and what is nautical science so btech marine engineering is if you want to join the engine department of a ship so this is this could be a long topic because there could be a specific video for it but if you want to become an engineer and work in merchant navy as an engineer you should uh, pursue btech marine engineering right it's a four years of course any engineering is usually four years long with the last semester usually being uh, the internship and then bsc nautical science is a three years of course where you will learn how to become a navigating officer right and then diploma in nautical science is a one year course for the same thing but it's a different path okay so these are the courses that we are talking about right now you have to appear for like once you fill this form let us assume you have submitted your application paid the fees and now you are in contact with the college you still have to fill imu cet which is indian maritime university common entrance test you have to appear for this exam as well so once you fill the form you have to also fill the form and inquire about imu cet okay this is a separate exam in itself and it is not tolani maritime institute's exam it's dg shipping's official exam to get into a college okay so you have to also appear for that exam okay once you fill the form for imu ct and you fill the form for tmi sat then i'm pretty sure you're going to reach to the stage where you have to appear for tmi sat so now i want you all to realize after filling the form there are two exams that you have to appear for first is going to be imu ct IMU CT is a different exam. It's by DG Shipping, okay? Indian Maritime University Common Entrance Test. So IMU is Indian Maritime University, and Tolani Maritime Institute is affiliated to IMU. So you have to appear for this exam as well. Then you also have to appear for Tolani Maritime Institute's official exam, which is TMI SAT, Tolani Maritime Institute Science Aptitude Test. You have to appear for this exam as well. This exam is a combination of a written exam and an interview okay imu ct is just a written exam okay it's computer based multiple choice question exam imu ct where science maths english aptitude general knowledge and chemistry can be asked from you but again that's the dg shipping exam for tolani maritime institute science aptitude test i can share what the format was for the past few years i think it's going to be the same now so of course there is a there is an interview okay so any respected chief engineer or any respected captain from the college itself is going to take your interview where they are going to ask you certain personal questions they will ask you certain um technical questions also based upon whatever conversation you have with them but there is going to be a computer based multiple choice question exam also in as a part of tmi sat so usually the pattern of that is 30 questions of physics 30 questions of mathematics 10 questions of logical reasoning and 10 questions of aptitude basically you can say that 20 marks or 20 questions are of aptitude and rest uh, 30 plus 30 is for physics and mathematics right so now if you ask me for physics and mathematics the level of the exam is going to be somewhere around plus 2 itself 
ओके सो इट्स गोइंग टू बी समवेयर अराउंड प्लस टू सो दैट्स नॉट गोइंग टू बी एन इश्यू इफ यू हैव स्टडीड वेल इन बोर्ड्स एंड फॉर एप्टीट्यूड यू कैन रिफर टू दिस वेबसाइट दैट इज राइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू इट्स कॉल्ड इंडिया बिग्स डॉट कॉम बिकॉज आई पर्सनली प्रिपेयर I still think that it's a really, really nice website, and I think all you, all of you should prepare for most of your aptitude exams from this website. It's it's really going to help you, IndiaBigs dot com, and the format is very simple. So there are eighty questions, right? Thirty physics, thirty math mathematics, and twenty is going to be aptitude. So eighty questions. So usually what used to happen is for every right answer you used to get plus one mark, and for every wrong answer there was no deduction. so there was no negative marking for every correct answer you could get plus 1 but the first 10 questions of physics and the first 10 questions of mathematics did have negative marking so out of the 80 questions 20 questions will have negative marking first 10 questions of physics and first 10 questions of mathematics will have negative marking and how much you are going to get deducted on if you choose the incorrect option is 0.25 so for every correct answer you get plus 1 but for these 20 questions the first 10 questions of physics and first 10 questions of mathematics if you mark and the answer is incorrect you're going to get minus 0.25 so it's going to reduce your score so minus 0.25 is the deduction only for these 20 questions rest of the questions have no negative marking so of course you should attempt all of them in my opinion right so that is the thing now once you will appear for once you submit the form once you um, successfully appear for IMU CT and you complete your TMI SAT then and this is an official statement from the side of TMI selection of like what does the selection now depend on so your selection depends on your performance of IMU CT your performance on of TMI SAT whatever interaction you had during the interview also your board's percentage board's percentage plays an important role because eligibility is usually 60 65% so if it's lesser than that then the admission chances are really really low or almost uh, negligible so your board percentage also plays role and tmi says that your performance in 12th basically your boards your tmi entrance test which is tmi sat your personal interview which is the tmi sat interview your imu ct basically whatever rank you get after appearing for imu ct and your medical fitness as per dg shipping guidelines so all of this is going to play a very important role in deciding whether you will get selected or not all right now please understand that maybe you know a great doctor but not any doctor can give you your medical for shipping or to join this field or for uh, joining merchant navy or joining tolani maritime institute you have to go to a dg shipping approved doctor to get your medical done now you would be asking who are dg shipping approved doctors so once you will get in touch with the college once you will get selected they will automatically send you a mail of all of the dg shipping approved doctors throughout the country so you can find out what is the nearest um, clinic or hospital you have where there is a dg shipping doctor it will be mentioned in the list for example if you live in delhi so that pdf will contain delhi mumbai kolkata lucknow many many cities so whatever is feasible for you you can go to any doctor just let them know that you know you want to uh, join nautical science or uh, engineering and then they will get your medical done so once again i'm repeating your 12th pcm boards percentage is with you your tmi entrance uh, written and your personal interview is done you have performed well you have your imu ct rank and your medical everything is done these are the requirement uh, requirements for joining tolani maritime institute okay and of course uh, filling up the form is the most basic thing the first thing that you have to do all right so based upon all of this you will get into tolani maritime institute so guys if you Now, want to prepare for your tmi sat entrance the written exam or for the interview and also at the same time imu ct exams you can check out our affordable batches on in short maritime you can reach out to us on instagram i would love to tell you about them they are extremely affordable and they are made in such a way so that if you study with us you will be easily able to qualify these exams or see a huge improvement in yourself when it comes to interview we are going to tell you what kind of questions are going to be asked what the interviewer notices in you and how you are supposed to tackle that and how you are supposed to leave a good impression in front of the interviewer so that he scores you well 
and you score well in this particular interview stage and then when it comes to TMS at or IMU CET both of these exams are heavily dependent upon physics mathematics and general aptitude and reasoning so in our classes we are going to focus upon these topics and because we have a good knowledge about what are these important topics so even if you focus upon the important topics that we are going to share with you during the classes it's going to help you a lot and it's going to really streamline your hard work so that if you study whatever we are going to uh, tell you to study then you will be able to score very well so i think for the price that we are offering the courses for and for the quality and for the material and for the guidance you are getting i think it's really going to boost your performance and it's really going to boost your chances of selection so i would suggest you can check it out if you want so guys these were the things i had to tell you now please keep in mind that you have to get your passport registered and you have to keep yourself medically fit okay your fitness is really really important and i will just have an overview on if there is anything extra that you should know regarding this okay um so i think i already told you what course courses they offer and if you want to know about their fee structure or anything like that you can also message me on in short maritime on instagram i will uh, love to let you know now talking about the college itself i think and i'm not saying this because i'm from that college but i just think that it's one of the best colleges in the country if not the best college because the facilities over there the infrastructure is amazing if you love sports it's going to be a heaven for you because they have almost all of the sports present the faculty members are really friendly and they will teach you really really uh, conceptual things and in a very professional manner and they are also very efforting and easy to reach out to so your education is not going to be compromised if you go into that college but again your will also comes into play how much you want to study but if you want to make the most of it i think it's it's probably the best college for this field okay and your life is going to be really nice you're going to eat really nice food and you're going to get fitter day by day so for your physical and mental well-being i think it's going to be a wonderful time in tmi and um, i think i already told you how you are supposed to contact the college you can always reach out to this bot nia and you can choose contact details and address email id and phone number will come now talking about a very important thing which is placements so placements are all time the best in this college i mean it's uh, it's a supply and demand thing but um, i really don't know if in the last decade or something if there have been any better colleges than tolani maritime institute to um, you know offer the kind of placements that they do companies love to visit this college of course of the quality that they have maintained and usually most of the students who pass in these exams and who are even performing above average will definitely la find themselves landing in a great company and a good shipping company now i don't want to talk about the students who are even below average but even certain such students also get an opportunity because this college is a temple of getting opportunities in this field okay so your career is going to be in safe hands in my opinion and you will definitely land in a good company if you are hard working enough if you are focused okay so yeah talking about the fees of course as compared to uh, other colleges or you know other institutes fees is going to be slightly higher but in my opinion i think it is justified because of the quality of food you are going to eat the quality of hygiene the college maintains the quality of faculty they have the quality of infrastructure you are going to live in it's worth it it's fine guys so i think you should not think about that and it's such a feel that you know whatever fees you are going to put you are going to get it back or you you are, you are going to make it back in 2 3 years max so yeah so for uh, btech marine engineering it should be somewhere around 20 to 25 lakhs and uh, for B, uh, bsc nautical science it should be somewhere around 18 to 20 to 25 lakhs okay so for dns it should be 7 lakhs i think somewhere around it these are not official numbers guys please don't quote me this is my um, idea of it so guys that is all again if you want to talk to me if you want to know anything about more uh, know anything more about tulani maritime institute or how to get in or you want classes you want to prepare with us you can reach out to me on in short maritime on instagram i would love to help you thank you guys for watching this video have an amazing day